Hello everyone, this is JPO, and today I'm joined with... Christopher! Yes, and we are podcast name in brackets. Yes, we are. So, Christopher, how you doing? I'm very tired. Okay, um, nothing new. <laughs> but also, like today, I'm starting intensive, so that ah. should be fun. Yes. It's going to be busy for sure. Mm-hmm. So I have a question. Answer. Have you heard anything about getting money off during our quote spring break? No. No? Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Um, so yeah. Uh, for the future in the podcast, I'm going to cut us off at a certain time. Oh, are you? Yes. Can you tell why? Because in the last podcast, I didn't. And so when I tried to go parking on the other side, there was no parking. <laughs> so I just skipped class. That's Instead of just coming all the way back here and taking the bus back... For no, oh my gosh. something that just I'd rather not do. Okay. So yes. In the future, wait, isn't your class at two? Yeah. Did we stop at like twelve forty-five? Yes. You had an hour, but there was no parking over there. Like even though I had like the hour, there's I'd rather not do this thing. I'd rather not park here. Get on the bus, go to the other side of the campus, just for that one thing, and then the combat. Why don't you park at that side of the campus? Maybe that side of the campus. It's in the Moss, right? Or Freedom Tower. <sighs> um. So you could park in the garage, right? Sure, but then I had to come over here. I I considered that, but then why would you come here? Because that's where my first class is. Wait, you have two classes? Yeah. After this? No. So we come. We work here. I park here in the morning. We park. You park here in the morning. You do your first class here, right? Yes. Then yes. I go over to the the Moss side. Yes. And do the class there. Right. So after the podcast, you go over there, and that's what I do. Yes. Okay. Do you have an hour? But there's nothing. It's all filled. Well, but then, uh, then around the time when you're, cla- uh, like, because, like, here, like, even though I had an hour, it doesn't mean anything because all the spots there, they're, they're for that class at that hour. So then the next hour, I can't do that because that's when class starts. No, 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 no. People start coming out during that 15 minute interval. But they didn't. They didn't. I was there for a bit. So it takes at least five minutes to walk over there. What do you mean five minutes to walk over there? I mean, class gets out, takes five minutes. It's, 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 I was there, okay? I went around for a bit, went around the entire building, there was nothing. What about the new parking garage? What new parking garage? You don't know about the new parking garage? There's no new parking garage there over there. Right across the highway. I'm not going across the highway. You mean, you mean over there where the yeah. dorms are? No, yeah. that's too far away. No, it's Christine. not. It is. It's not. My class is over by Divinity. That's over yeah. there by the dorms over there. Uh, that's that's too far. No, you, there's the bridge right under the Here's highway. The thing. That's the same length for me uh. as here to there. No way. It is. For me, it is. Really? It is. You, you have to think about this. I'm a big guy. That's a lot of walking for me to do. I don't want to exert myself that much. But I thought you wanted to work it off a bit. Shush. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. It's a different direction. But yeah, it's a, roughly the same distance. I think it's It, does, it doesn't shorter. mean anything to you because, you know, you, you run and walk all the time. Mm-hmm. So... I'm taking the bus a lot this semester. Yeah, well, because there are my dorm for... is on the other side of the campus, and there are reasons weather-wise to do that. Oh yeah, weather. Okay. I need to cool. Okay, fine. I don't know exactly the distance. Maybe we could time it one day. <laughs> Keyword. No, I I ain't gonna go that far. Okay, just just take my word for it. No need to disprove me. Because you will disprove me. <laughs> so that's what you're afraid of? Not so much afraid. I'm rather, I'd am rather i rather not be annoyed by the fact that I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I can't deny that for you, it still would be distance regardless, but I would still think I'm right if I found out that I'm right. Here's the thing. Uh-huh. Go ahead and believe you're right. Just don't say anything to me. I'm right, guys! <laughs> okay. I'm right! So yeah, my dad's coming today. Yay! So uh, you guys have to pick him up at the airport? Yeah. At what time? I don't know. You gonna walk over there? <laughs> I'm a- all the way to Roanoke. Wait, Roanoke? Yeah. Oh, so he's not coming to this airport? No. Oh, okay. That I didn't see coming. <laughs> Either way, I still wouldn't walk to the airport here. That would take a long time. But yeah. also, there's no real sidewalks here in Lynchburg. No. It's, but it's like it. walking to the airport. You know, driving wise, it seems like it's doable. Mm hmm. But then you walk, and it's like, oh, that's actually quite far. Right. I mean, you think about it, like, you could get from here to my dorm in, l- I'll say about five minutes. To walk, about 30 minutes. It's insane. For me, longer. <laughs> True. I tend to walk fast. Yeah, and I have to slow down sometime. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a big guy. So, if you had to... If you had so, to save like, your life, it, it, by if you had to do something stupid to save your life, would you walk across that bridge to save my life? Yes. I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand what the, what the context of the situation is, but if it's like for in order for you to live, you got to walk across that bridge. Sure, I'll walk across the bridge. If I were to do that for like, you have sixty seconds to do it. I don't know if I can make it, but I'll try. <laughs> you think it's going to take longer than that? Me? Maybe 90 seconds. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's it really depends. Okay. So, your dad is coming for 10 days, you said? 14. 14, okay. Will he be able to record next week? We? In our car, yeah. Oh, so this is my car, too. Communism, I love it. <laughs> Friendship. That's 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 what you get. You're not allowed to drive it, but okay. I let you sit in it. Got it. <laughs> With my observations, of course. <laughs> um, Seriously, though, communist memes. Are yeah. So we, we so we talked a bit like in between the podcast about some things like Daft Punk. They separated. Uh-huh. Yes. You're are you are you sad? Uh, I mean, I never really was a big fan of them. I never really listened to them, obviously, because of... The thing is, it's the, like... They're Mark, it's sad, but I don't know them. Go on. Sure, but it's like, we... I can guarantee that we have both listened to some of their songs without even knowing it. Probably. And it's typically the songs that they'll play at, like, an event mm-hmm. that get you pumped up. Yeah, I still haven't, like, listened... Like went to Spotify just to like hear like some of their more mm-hmm. popular songs. I haven't done that yet. Sure. And so, yeah, Daft Punk separated. That's oh, it's sad, but you know, mm-hmm. they did it in they did it in a good way. You know, it wasn't like a whole controversy mm. of like oh, this person did this, and so it's no. They both separated like equally Mm -hmm. and they just they filmed a whole video of just as official announcement of their separation Mm -hmm. it's a cool little video that's artistically done i didn't watch the video well i saw it trending but i didn't watch it it's really just them walking in the desert one stopping decides you know what i think i'm done go ahead and blow me up really Yes, because because like their their persona as robots okay. is pretty much what they're getting at, and so it's like uh-huh. my journey is done. Press the self destruct button, mm-hmm. and so it's just there's no dialogue what at all. It's just stares and looks. It's neat. But anyway, if it wasn't for Corona, would you think that they would do a farewell tour or not, or did they tour? I don't know. I don't know about a farewell tour. Because 
Kiss is still on their farewell tour, and they announced that they're breaking up in what seventeen or eighteen? I don't know. I don't know, but um, you know, them breaking up. Now that I've like took a closer look at like things they've done in the recent years, uh -huh. like it's you could see it coming. Yeah, because like they pretty much peaked in twenty thirteen. Oh, it's a twenty thirteen. Okay. Yeah, like well. I say that because that's where they won their Grammy mm. for their like for best song of the year and best album of the year. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, after that, they haven't really done much after that. So it was yeah. like, after you won your award, you pretty much did what you set out to do. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So. Uh, Has there been any music you've been enjoying recently? Yeah, I've been listening like closer to some Beach Boy stuff. Okay, I was just having a conversation with a friend, and like they were like saying, "It's like, oh, have you checked out like this movie that's about this one of the, the lead guy of the Beach Boys and like mm -hmm. the events that went through?" And so like I watched that that night, and I was like, "Oh," so it got me into listening to like. The two soundtracks, uh, two albums that the movie was about. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was, it was fun. Uh, you're probably not going to care so much about this, but no. uh, Rose from Blackpink, uh, the release date of her solo material has been announced. I'm so excited. So excited. That's okay for you. <laughs> yes. Anyway, the Golden Globes were last night. Uh, did you watch? No. I didn't even check who won. <laughs> I don't really care because, like, I look at the list of who was nominated. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> the end. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that's how it mostly is for Golden Globes because I mm -hmm. don't really watch a lot of mainstream TV mm -hmm. unless it's like The Mandalorian. Oh, so it's TV. TV. Uh, it's mostly TV, but they have films as well. Okay. At least I think they do. No, I think it's mainly just TV. No. I because I saw trending on Twitter, like, some people talking about, like, how one person said Sal instead of Soul for Best Animated Oh, I, I guess, like, for, uh, the main films that I saw were from, like, animated features. So, Soul, the end, yeah, Soul, did, did they win? I don't know. I don't know the one, but they're, like, the one that's, like, compared to everything else, unless it's, like... Yeah, they're the more obvious choice. Yeah, that, that's kind of one of my issues with award shows is that typically it seems like they just vote or the winner is whatever is more popular than whatever is the best. Sure. That's not always the case. And I, like, there are some, there can, like, one, one thing I think about is, like, the Grammys. One year, Casey Musgrave won Album of the Year for, uh, I think it was called Golden Hour. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Twitter went like, who is Casey Musgrave? She won freaking Out of the Year and a lot of people had never heard of her. Um, so, like, I, I point that out to, uh, like, uh, I mean, I don't think there's ever necessarily a perfect award show, but I think, like, that's a good example of, like, you know, that upsets still can happen. It's not that every award show is quote, rigged, or just a popular vote, or sorry, not necessarily popular vote, but what's the most popular, um, sometimes upsets can still happen. So, yeah. All right, so I think at this point we're, like, at three faculty members that know about the podcast. Oh, okay, so tell me. What, Evan? Uh, huh. Well, see, so it's just, like, we're having a conversation in the yeah. booth. And like another person walks in, it's like, "Oh, hey, did you hear about the podcast?" They look at me, he's like, "A podcast?" It's like, "You gotta send me the link, John." I'm like, "Ah, oh, no." <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. You know, uh -huh. I don't actually say anything bad in the podcast, but I guess it's do I? No. Oh, good. But it's just like, I guess it's the idea that I'm such a different personality in the podcast. Uh, because you talk more on the podcast. Well, no, was, I, I'm like more open in the podcast uh, compared to like in social situations. Uh -huh. So I guess it's like 
you know how it's like you're a different person in public than you're at home? Yeah. That's just kind of how it is. And so when you have someone infiltrate mm -hmm. that, it's like, oh, okay, I've been cut off guard. I don't really know what to do. So if if more people keep finding about the podcast and listening and such, oh is God. that going to change the way how you are in the podcast? No. No. Good. <laughs> no. Like, what would I change? Nothing. It's like, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about anything bad. Mm -hmm. Like, what's there to change? Well, you could be less open about stuff. <laughs> then what would this podcast be? <laughs> Nothing. It'd be just empty noise. Just us sitting here, breathing, staring at each other, and nodding and going, mm-hmm, 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 well, I'm oh I'm gonna be behind in schoolwork soon. Yeah, which is kind of oh, oh there's already one assignment I realized the other day that I forgot to turn in. Like oh yo, so I'm gonna have to try to I'm gonna try to turn that in before you know the late period ends. But it started the, the madness, me being behind even before the intensive has actually officially started. Yay! I'm scared. Sure yeah. Scared. 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 Um, so last night I had a show. Okay. And... It, the Cypher? Yes, and a fun thing happened. Was, oh, wait, wait. It, it was it the, the last night? No. We no? We still have three more shows this week. Okay, got it. And so last night, you know, I, I, I worked sound like I pressed the button and it goes. Uh -huh. But well, there's also like the sound assistant, the official guy, who like does the soundboard. Mm -hmm. Well, during intermission... He decides like to put his head down, just you know, just put his head on the table. Oh, he falls asleep. Yes. Oh no. Like he falls asleep accidentally. I didn't notice that. Like I come in, I just see him like put his head down, but in my mind it's like, oh, he's probably just working on something. Um, so he'll he'll probably get on the job when I start pressing <laughs> the show, and like the person like beside him, like he's like, hey, are you awake? And he responds. But it's like an automatic response. It's not like an actual yeah. legible answer. So he doesn't even remember responding <laughs> at all. And so the thing the thing starts. I press the music. And I look over. And he's still there. I'm like, well, this is bad. Because that means no one can hear the music. So I just so I just leaned over and turned up the slider. and uh -huh. <laughs> So that the people can listen. And of course... You have to turn it down when the actor starts speaking. So yeah. I do that. So I do that bit. <laughs> then I inform the uh, stage manager. It's like, hey, can you? Can someone <laughs> wake him up? <laughs> and then he, then he just immediately perks right up. It's like, no. It's like, <laughs> it's like, and it goes to me. It's like, did you do this later? I'm like, yeah. It's like, oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> And so it was just like, it's it's one of it's a golden moment for me because I saved the show. <laughs> Not really, but uh, so were the micro uh, the actors' microphones down as well, or no? It was just music, just the music. Yeah, really. Yeah, it was just music. They didn't have microphones. Oh, okay, got it. So, okay, so I took initiative and it's in the black box, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And it's like. It, it's a really good thing that, like, during the show, I'm just watching him work his magic mm -hmm. so that I could tell, like, oh, okay, I know that he does this for this. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. There you go. That's awesome. It may not have been, like, a perfect mixing, but. Mm -hmm. You you got the job done. Yeah. Do they use microphones in the tower theater? They, they pretty much have to, yeah. Okay. Because I think during... They did during Sonic Con. I, I, I was trying to think if there was like at one point when they didn't, but I can't remember. No, it's like they always tend to do it unless like you're Kid Lee <laughs> and you just sit in the front and just start speaking to the audience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, usually in the tower we're always mic'd. Okay. So have you had to do audio in the tower theater? No, never. Oh, really? It's, it's just only back black box that I've done. Okay. 
So is the the sound booth the thing that's like above? In the black, yeah. It's like the booth is it's more, like elevated. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's up there. You're looking down. Mm-hmm. You're you're up there with lights and your stage manager. You're on your headsets, you know, talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Do you know when the black box opened? Uh, I think like late 2016, early 2017. Okay. It was like it was essentially new when we got there. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting. Yeah. So have, I I'm assuming you've done more shows at the black box than Tower Theater. Uh actually like half half like i was thinking it's like oh i done more showing like this but i start thinking it's like no i actually done half Hmm. (laughs) that weird motion that you can't see yeah listeners it it went like this yeah good did you see that yeah 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 Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) um so uh, a new tom and jerry movie came out okay so uh, did you watch Tom and Jerry like growing up and stuff? I did, yes. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, there's, there's just people there. Oh, people. Yes, no, like, no, like, those are people that I haven't seen in a long time. Uh. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I grew up watching some Tom and Jerry, mm-hmm. and so the movie came out and said, like, you know what, I'm going to enjoy some fun. <laughs> Wrong. Oh no! It's like I only watched twenty minutes of this movie, and I just I couldn't. It was just bad. Why was it bad? So the movie starts with a rapping uh, pigeon. Did they have rapping pigeons in the original or something? No, it's just it's a gimmick that they do. It's like I don't know why. When animated features, especially like they want to make a movie. It's like, how are we going to make this relatable? Rapping. <laughs> like, that's just their go-to. we got to have a singing gimmick. Mm-hmm. What are we going to do it? Just make it a bird. He's not important to the movie at all, but he's just going to open the film up, flying around, rapping, just do these weird moves, and it's just a waste of animation and a waste of my time. So you go on for like 20 minutes? No. Um, but it's just the animation itself is just not good. It's a mixture of, it's like, the best way to describe it, it's like 2D CGI, Mm -hmm. which can work, but this one didn't. Like, it just looked really cheap and looked bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I think also the mixture of the real life and the animation just, it was, uh, like, I saw, like, on Instagram, like, just, like, some teasers or ads, Mm -hmm. and it was just hard for me to be, like... Because it looked more like an ad than a movie. Because you need shading, mm-hmm. like in your characters, like nice shading and shadows on it. Because like you can do two D characters in real life, and you could do it well with the shading. Space Jam. That's an example. Movie. Well, aren't they doing a second Space Jam? I heard it's coming out. Are soon. you excited about that? No, but I'm going <laughs> to watch it anyway, because uh, <laughs> I'm interested to see how they do it, because it's not going to be good. <laughs> Jay sequels are kind of sad. No, like Space Jam in general wasn't even that great of a film, hmm. but it was just a classic because it's just how bizarre the, the idea is. Like, Looney Tunes, Michael Jordan, basketball, perfect combination. Um... <laughs> So is Michael Jordan in this new one? No, well? it's LeBron James. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't really care about LeBron. Uh, <laughs> sorry, peoples. But I don't really care about LeBron. Um, so, yeah. that's. So, was, in terms of the story, was it on par? Or what? On uh, par for The Tom and Jerry? No. It's like it's a completely different story. It's like also you have your humans, like your regular people, main mm-hmm. characters, who I don't like at all. Like you have your main character who's not likable to me. Like she is a scoundrel. Like her thing is like she walks into this five star hotel, goes up to to the lady who's like interviewing for a job, and she pretends that she's the interviewer, <laughs> and she's like. Thank you, but you're not good enough for this hotel. And she steals her resume and gets the job herself. 
and lies her way. And I don't like that. I just mm-hmm. did not like that. And all this in the first 20 minutes. Yes. Yes. So what's the plot of the movie is Tom and Jerry have to stop her from keeping the job? No. Usually how it goes is Tom and Jerry are just there having their usual cartoon antics of chasing each other around. Mm-hmm. And so the whole story is just going to be that girl being in charge of a hotel and failing. Oh, and so then, she's and in then charge just, of the hotel. Well, she's doing something for an event. And then you just have Tom and Jerry just running around doing their thing while that thing's going on. Mm-hmm. That's typically how that stuff goes. What story would you prefer that they used instead? None. I'd rather they didn't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think Tom and Jerry is outdated to be making new stuff. However, there it, it's a such, cla- there's such a, a, a nostalgia run the, right the now. The reason why I say it's outdated mm-hmm. because it's like you are pretty much used up all your material. Right. You cannot do anything new with this gimmick because mm-hmm. everything you've done, you've done. But the issue is that it do- people don't matter if they're out of ideas or not. And so, like, what they'll do like, is, like, they'll just... reuse the same thing. Mm-hmm. Or even, like, uh, in the example of Disney, just remake your movie. Yeah. It just kind of shows, like, uh, they're just banking on nostalgia at this point because they don't trust their new ideas. Sure, yeah. I mean... Disney, I think, uh-huh. is different in a way that how because they're they're remaking like a two D thing into live action, and but so, you could argue that Tom and Jerry is a, in the in similar vein. You could, but the reason why I say not so much because in its heart and core, Tom and Jerry is exactly the same, even in just art style, just the general look. Mm-hmm. Versus Disney, they completely change everything to look more photorealistic. Mm-hmm. But and they add, like, new things to the th- the story and change it. Versus Tom and Jerry, you can rely and they're gonna have their exact same spiel. Mm-hmm. And nothing's gonna be different about that. Do you like the fact that Disney is redoing their movies the way they are? No! Heck no! I don't think they're good. They're terrible. They're not good at all. They sure they make a lot of money because mm-hmm. of that nostalgia, but they're not good movies. Mm. So which ones have they done? They've done Lion King. They've done Lion King. Mulan. Mulan. Oof. Aladdin. Yes. Is that it? Uh no, there's Jungle Book, Cinderella. Wait, isn't Jungle Book old? What do you mean old? When did that come out? Oh, that came out Jungle Book came out twenty sixteen. Was it really 2016? Or 2015. Well, I was older. The, you, you know they were releasing another Cinderella, right? I don't think so. Yeah! Camilla Cabello is going to be the lead. For the new Cinderella? Yeah. But they... Their last Cinderella was like 2014, 2015. Oh, yeah. Are you sure it's the same thing? Uh, uh, I bet they'll take liberties. Is it like a sequel to Cinderella, or...? Oh, well, then you would get the same actress. If it was a sequel. Mm, not necessarily. Malef- well, if, especially if it's a lead. Maleficent. Uh, you have two different actresses for Maleficent. To Cinder... No. I just want... What, what did you say? Maleficent. What about that? You have two, you have two different actresses. Did not know that. You have, you have Anne Hathaway in the first one and Angelina and Jolie in the second one. Was that a good idea or not? I don't know. I think they're just... I don't think they're good movies. That's my hot take. Mm-hmm. That's my hot take on Disney. Sue me. But don't. No, Cinderella is an upcoming American musical romantic comedy film written and directed by Kay Cannon based on the fairy tale of St. Nate. Singer Camille Cabello played a lead role in her acting debut. It also stars Billy Porter and other people. Musical, huh? That's what it says. Interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense because she is a singer. I, yeah, do you remember that song? Uh, Havana, Unana. Oh, gosh. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, I guess 
I don't think this Cinderella movie was a musical to begin with. You, sorry, you say you don't think it should? I don't, I don't think it was, like, the one that came out. So, I don't think it was a musical. Um, so, I guess that's I don't even think the thing. cartoon was a musical. It seems like also uh, one of the actresses in Cinderella is one of the Frozen Girls. Ah. Uh, I don't know their names. Okay. And, and and even if you show me them, I don't know how to pronounce them. But, the, yeah, she's in the cast as well. All you gotta say is Frozen Girls and I'll get it. Yes. <laughs> one of the Frozen Girls. One of them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yes, yeah, sir. And so... Until what? Yeah. So, this is something that's very interesting to me. We've talked about streaming wars before, right? Uh, yeah. The fact that, you know... For example, Netflix is going to get Seinfeld. It's no longer going to be on Hulu in June. Okay. Um, that was announced back in like 2019 okay um uh and now unless something's changed i doubt it because you know when you have a contract like that you know it's you, there's not often times when something changes but you know netflix gonna uh, get like a 4k version of seinfeld because they rescanned the original stuff anyways talk about streaming wars how like it's completely different with music yeah something happened yesterday oh my gosh so, let's let's let me give a little bit of history. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest corporations in South Korea is Kakao. Um, they're popular for a messaging app called Kakao Talk. Um, they also have a label, Kakao M, and I guess M stands for music. I just realized that. And also a streaming service called Melon. Melon is the biggest streaming service in South Korea. Okay. In uh, early this now it's March. Okay, so early in February, Spotify launched in South Korea. Uh huh. Yes. Without uh, the music that Melon distributes. Sorry, that Kakao M um, distributes. Okay. Because obviously, because Kakao has that, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I forget the name, but basically, you know, that power is be like no. You know, it's uh, we'll, we'll keep it exclusive to Korean st streaming services. Mm -hmm. There are a few other Korean streaming services out there, but Melon is the biggest. So, but you know, it's not on Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, oh, started in South Korea, I think, 2016. It's all uh, Melon's music, as far as I've heard, is not. <sighs> Why? Why? Kakalem's music is not available on Apple Music as well. On March 1st, Kaka M's music completely disappears off Spotify, worldwide. Now, there was a lot of speculation at first that it was, that Kaka M was upset about the whole situation. Okay. That they pulled the music, but, but Spotify said, no, our licensing contract expired on February 28th. And so we are trying to, you know... We've been trying for the last year and a half to strike a new deal. Um, I'm not going to. Kaka M fired back and said, um, we've been talking about a domestic deal in South Korea. Apparently, they're making it sound like we weren't talking about the international deal, which they contradicted themselves in a bit. And uh, But they're like, Spotify, you know, sent us the notification like yesterday telling us that uh, the licensing is expired. It's expiring, which is a little, there's like a both and there. They signed a contract and in the contract, it says when your license is going to expire. Right. So it's not like they completely didn't know. So I feel like they're playing a little dumb there. Um, but then, uh, Kakao, um, followed up with saying Spotify is forcing us to get a domestic and international, um, licensing deal. Uh, they wouldn't do uh, just an international one. Okay. So in some respects, Spotify is playing both the hero and the villain at the same time. Yeah. Because obviously, who is this right now with Kaka's music not on Spotify? Who's it going to hurt? It's going to hurt Spotify because people are now moving to Apple Music and YouTube. It's going to hurt Kaka because 
now they're not going to be able to make money from streaming from Spotify. Um, it's going to hurt the fans because those who use Spotify can't access the music. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt the artists be and the labels who can't make the music. Uh, sorry, make money off the music. So the way to win is for Kakao to s sign the international domestic deal with Spotify. Then true Kakao will, you know, have, you know, will actually have competition with Spotify. But then they'll start be able to make their streaming money again, and then everyone else in the market wins. Um, but it's also really interesting to see right now. So you know, Sai, yes, Mr. Gangnam Style, he created his own label, I think, back in 2018, and so recently, within the past year, I believe, he, his music he started having it distributed through Kakao. Uh -huh. Uh, not anymore because of this um, uh, issue with Spotify. He pulled it from Kaka and um, uh, distributed it himself or through a different distributor. Okay. So that's already a big example of how it's hurting Kaka because mm -hmm. now these other labels, you know, Kaka is its own label, it's also distribution. So the other labels that depend on Kaka now can't depend on Kaka. So now they're pulling their music from Kakao. And so, which could make them super like, oh yeah, definitely we're not gonna sign, or oh, we're losing people, we must sign something. So, just looking at it, I feel like Spotify is going to win in the end, but if, if it, especially if it really draws out, this is almost the beginning of the stream wars. Um, it, as it relates to music. For music? Yeah. Okay. Because now Melon isn't available internationally. It's pretty much just available in South Korea. So For now. Yeah. I know a lot of people would, would have just moved to Melon if they could, but they can't because they're not in South Korea. But it, it's, it's going to be interesting to uh, like see how that turns out and especially if this continues to be long and drawn out mm -hmm. it like it's already getting gaining a lot of notice like I, maybe it's not like the biggest news piece in the world but you know it was trending on twitter big time yesterday um you know and other people are going to take notice and it's if this continues to be drawn out it could be an issue in the future with other labels maybe not Honestly, it could just be an issue just between Spotify and Kaka, and that'd be it. But there's potential that it could get worse. Anything can happen. But it's really interesting, like, looking at this and seeing that um, one of my biggest fears is starting to happen. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Just because we've talked about that, and because, obviously, South Korea, you know, I live there. So, but at the same time, even if it necessarily wasn't South Korea, I still think I would have been very invested in this story because I've been afraid that something like this would happen. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to happen-ish. It could die out after this, but it could get worse. Okay. It could go either way. So, that's very interesting to me. Yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> Did you... Did you see the new Outlook? What? There's a note? Why? Well, no, no, no. Like, check your Outlook. Uh, well, first off, just, just, like, just, the just, app? Just, just check the app. Just check it out. Well, I don't have the app on my phone. Okay. Let me just, just go and check your email real quick. Uh, for personal email? For, for Liberty email. Liberty? Yeah, yeah, like Liberty Outlook. Oh. Specifically Liberty. Because I got a change this morning. Hmm. And it was not a good change. Hmm. It's not like, it's not like they changed the layout or anything, but it's like aggressive for me. It's aggressive. I can, I'll show you after the podcast if you can't see it. Here. Yeah, uh, I'm, I currently, like I ran out of high-speed data, so it's yeah, loading okay. slowly. So. Alright, well, 
Not now, I guess. Not on the podcast. Not on the podcast. But I can describe it to you. Okay, describe it to me. You know, normally you have the pictures, or if the pictures don't have pictures, they have the letters. What? Pictures, letters, what? You're saying within an email? No, like... The oh. user... Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, has yeah, a yeah, picture yeah. of their profile yes. or just a letter of their names. Yes. You know how the emails have that? Yes. They changed that. Mm-hmm. So, all of those emails, mm-hmm. all of those pictures and letters mm-hmm. are all the LU logo. And so, when I open my email, mm-hmm. it's just L- LU yeah. logo all over the place. Yeah. And it's, it's so, it's bad because I, when looking for emails, rely on the image, yeah. the letter, and the color. Mm-hmm. And now it's just all the same logo. And like when I look at it, it's like, this doesn't look like an email. Mm-hmm. It looks like a job posting. Mm-hmm. So. I, it, I wonder, has there been an issue of like people uploading inappropriate avatars? That's what I wonder, but it doesn't seem like it's been happening. Like I like, haven't had. Here's the thing: buddy. if if you if that's the case, just remove the avatar yeah. and just give us the letters. Because mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's that's a it's, fair it's, point. It's very important for me to like find my email quickly. Yeah, and that's a way to me to find the email quickly. I just even think like in sometimes like menus. Mm. Sometimes I don't even look for the words; I look for the icon. Sure. And so, like, uh, we rely on these images, and so yeah, so that is very. And so you change it to like everything LU. That to me, like. Maybe they're trying to trick you to open those Corona emails. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. They want us to open the Corona emails because, like, I see the red, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, like to me, I see that, and I just think. That's pretentious. Yeah. It's like it's it's egotistical and pretentious. Yeah. Even though I don't think that's their intention, that's what I'm getting from it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope it's not a permanent thing. I hope and I not. hope it was just like a temporary thing because of something going on mm-hmm. that they're they're working on something. But why though? Was your yes? Yours was okay. Like my, I I don't see my image there. Granted, I'll have to go and check it out on my computer because mm-hmm. it might be different there, but on my phone, on the Outlook app, I don't see my face. I just see the LU logo. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. And so, what if the thing just stays like that, I just might remove the logo, mm-hmm. just remove the icon. Well, will you be able to? Yeah, there's an option. I, I checked it out. Oh. I, I can do that. Can you upload a photo? No. I don't think no, you can on your phone. Oh, on your phone. I don't think you can on your phone. Okay. Um but yeah, that's that that that's really annoying. That is annoying. It was really annoying, yeah. Why? Yeah, why indeed. I wanted to see your face. Yeah, it's a it's a great face. Yeah, it is. Uh excuse me. Um <laughs> So my sister... Yes. Got another cat? No. Oh. She's taking care of her friend's dog. <sighs> the dog's in her basement. So you got like three cats and a dog in the basement. Yes. How? It's It's not like a little dog, too. It's a pretty big dog. Yeah. How? And of course, it's like my dad's staying there as well, so... <laughs> it's like I, I haven't been in the basement all week. <laughs> It's like it's gonna be another week. Or the dog's gonna be there, so I'm not gonna be in the basement for a while. Do you like dogs or not? I no, no, no. Like if it was just like a little dog, but this is a big dog and it's mm-hmm. jumping all over me. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, that makes sense. So, your sister having fun though? I don't know. <laughs> like I opened the door, that dog came to the staircase, looked up at me, and just barked at me. It's like, yeah, no, I ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you alone. Mm-hmm. I don't need to bark. So that's where we're at there. Question. Do you have Amazon Student Prime? Yes. Do you like it? It's cheaper, yes. So 
I, I'm I like yesterday or the day before I signed up for the six month trial because I'm like I'm almost not a student so I might as well get it now. Yeah. You know. I don't know why you didn't get it before. Because I never needed it. Did you ever use Amazon much? Uh, only ordered like one or two things. Yeah, I mean, getting Student Prime mm -hmm. is really helpful because mm -hmm. you can get Prime much faster. Yeah. And you get Prime Video. Mm -hmm. I don't use it. But mm -hmm. I have the option to. <laughs> yeah. So. Wait, can I watch your Tostitos? Toditos. 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 Yes, you can watch Toditos with Brian. Okay, sweet. Um, because. Tostitos. I, I, I think I got like some, I mentioned I got some money from Liberty. Sure. Uh, which might have been from the CARES Act. I don't know. But. Also, I got a gift card from a friend, so I went ahead and bought myself a nice pair of speakers. You did? Yes. Okay. So, they should be in the mail tomorrow. I'm so excited. Nice. So, I got Amazon Prime just to ensure that I'll get free shipping. So. Sweet. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Free shipping. Yes. I already spent a lot of money speakers. as it was, but yeah. Just on speakers, man. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, shipping for speakers, that could be expensive. Yeah. That could be paying as much. It's just like I'm not a speakers kind of guy. Yeah. Even even though like I, I feel like I could use speakers for you, my TV. You probably should. But I don't. Uh-huh. I guess just me being an audio guy, I want to have the good quality plus as an I audio prefer, major. I prefer just listening to stuff in my headphones. Mm. No, I feel that. Like, I love my headphones, but I'm just on my headphones all the time. Sure, yeah. So I get I, that. I want to be able to balance between the two. And I know the neighbors. Yes. <laughs> yes. You want to be that guy. Oh, yeah. Playing reggaeton. No. <laughs> oh, even yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, even better. Even better. Your, your Christian uh, Christmas heavy metal music. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, Christian Christmas metal music is actually pretty sweet. I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie. <laughs> Theocracy? They have some good stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you have to find a parking spot, do you? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're like one minute away from closing this podcast. Okay, so are we just going to sit in silence then? Um, I mean, we could. We could, but we won't. I mean... Who knows? I could just say... Thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.